Hello and welcome to the NetIQ video demonstration. In this video, we will demonstrate how we can configure a risk-based policy based on an IP rule. Risk-based authentication provides context-aware access control that acts to balance the level of trust against risk. It enables organizations to address access-related risks and improves user experience. Risk-based authentication enables to validate the risk of an access request at the runtime and take appropriate actions such as forcing an advanced authentication or denying access. Let us now consider a scenario wherein an employee tries to log in into Access Manager portal by using the corporate intranet. He is authenticated without any additional authentication. However, when the same employee logs in into the portal from outside the office, he must provide NX509 certification for authentication. Let us now go ahead and log into the Access Manager and create the corresponding classes. So click Devices, then click Local and click classes. Similarly click methods to create the corresponding methods and on the same grounds go ahead and create the corresponding contract in access manager. Let us now go ahead and configure the risk based policy. For our demo purpose we have already created an RBA policy which is called the RBA demo. Let us click the overview tab first. If you notice here there are a lot of pre-configured policies already available in access manager. You can also click try now wherein Access Manager creates a demo policy for you. And for more information you can use our step by step guide. Let us go back to our risk policy now that we configured for this video purpose. So let's click the uh, policy that we created. So if you notice here we've crea already created an IP rule for the demo purpose. So this is the IP rule that we configured. And these are some of the uh, policies or the risk levels that we have configured. Now if you notice here, we've already selected a pre-configured X509 uh, class here for our demo purpose. Let us now go ahead and demo the first part of our scenario wherein we log in to the IDP with our corporate network. We enter our credentials. And as you can notice, without any additional authentication, we are authenticated into the IDP. Let us now try to understand what happens in the other part of the demo, wherein we try to access the IDP from a network which is outside the corporate network. We try to log in. And as you can see, we are prompted for an additional certification, that is the 509 authentication. We click OK and we notice that we are successfully authenticated. So in this video, we learned some very basic risk based authentication rules and policies. And at the same time, we also saw how risk based can help us enhance our authentication levels. Thank you.